in order to do download QDA Miner, what you can do is just go to QDA Miner, uh, just go to Google and write QDA Miner Lite. And the first link, just click on it and you get to their website. What you need to do next is, once it's, it loads, the next step is, you just write your first name, give your last name, give your email, confirm your email and they'll take you to the download page. Just download the software, install it and it's very easy to use. Start and search QDA Miner and open it. Okay. So what it will ask is, do you want to upgrade or use free edition? In this case, we are using the free edition. Okay, it's... Uh so use free edition okay now it is asking us whether we want to create a new project we want to open an existing project or we want to reopen a recently opened project so in this case what we will do is we will create a new project now it will ask create a project from a list of document slash images Create a blank project design structure or import from an existing data file. In this case, we will create a project from list of documents and images. So now what you can do is uh, you can import document and images. So you can analyze images as well, but that's not part of the process today. Uh, today we are only focusing on the documents. So locate your document where it is. In this case, mine is in. Okay, there is one slight problem that if you click uh, the your drive, it won't show the folders here. So it will only show the files. So you will have to locate the folders uh, from this tree structure. So I put it in uh, somewhere here. Okay, here are my interviews A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So what I'll do is you can import all of them or you can import them by one by one. So what I'll do is I'll import all these files in the folder. So just select the folder and press import. And here it is asking, do you want to import the word files, text files, HTML files, rich text files or Acrobat Reader PDF files? In this case, what document is in or our documents are in word format. So we'll use MS Word files, press OK. Do you want to import nine document files? Yes. And create. So it will ask us where do you want to create uh, the project file. So QDA minor light project file will be created. So let's name it. Let's uh, give it a name. Say uh, let's name it system or e-system or education system. Let's save it. And now it's importing might take a bit of a time okay now it is imported now everything is in there now this is your QDA minor light what you see here is this box here is or refers to the cases in your study in this case we've got a b c d e f g h i uh, it, it's always a good idea to rename them and uh, give them proper name then we've got variables. Now every case will have certain variables associated to it. The, it's the file and then the name of the file. It's the document and then it could you could add new variables. So what could be the new variables? Who was the respondent? For example, who was the respondent? You can define the age in this case it could be short string add now it could be for instance uh, what was the age of the respondents we don't need uh, add so this is how you can define the variables pertinent to these cases and then you can obviously add the values here so you can add uh, these values pertinent to each of the case so it could be age gender uh, the type of organization they are working in the organization they are working in so you can define variables pertinent to each of the case below this case you see codes so here you see all your codes defined so let's say we are now we've got this interview 
or interview you one case a and this is and this is the response that the interview one or interview one actually gave to all the questions okay so the next step is or next thing that we see is codes so how do you define codes let's assume that you have read all these eight or nine cases or all these eight or nine responses from your interviewees now that you have got the gist of the data as to what's in this particular data okay uh, just one thing uh, these are codes and now this is your uh, view where you see the document now this is uh, your document space where you see the the document and the text in the document this is what we call uh, the gutter and uh, this is where you will see the codes or uh, the name of the codes so let's say uh, this is the first case and now we want to code it and let's see we are reading through the document I've had I have eight years of teaching experience in different universities while 6.5 years in experience okay okay I found a simple all requirements in your sense the employees BPS don't have confidence you can easily fulfill the requirements okay okay now this is something related to the parallel system or system because in here they are comparing uh, the BPS system to the TTS system so this is something related to system now that we I have read the whole documents or the all the interview documents again and again I I've got in my mind the th the codes so I know this is something related to the comparison of system or the parallel systems so what I can do is I select it here and in here it says you can uh, this green button here just click it and you can define the code here and let's name it system now you are required to write the theme or category name here now this this might sound troubling to you that okay why should I define theme right at the start where I haven't just finished the coding yet so what you can do is just give a raw or draft theme and once you have finished the coding you can obviously merge the codes together and change their parent themes as well so for now let's say since we read the whole interviews and everything we know that what we did was system was under job structure so let's name it as job structure now this is your code and this is your category or your theme and you can uh, give different colors let's say let's give it uh, let's keep it red and you can give it a shortcut as well for now let's keep it simple press ok now here if you look here you have defined a theme job structure and what you have done is you have defined a code called system and in here in the gutter area now you can see that you've got this code here system moving on TTS is not an issue if it's followed in Pakistan with true spirit then it may have many benefits but here people are not aware about the system if you are fit and active then you have to work and if you don't you are not active then leave it so this is something related to benefits that we already identified and let's see how it is so benefits come under incentives so what we'll do is we can again since it's a new code so what we'll do is benefit is the code name and it will come under a new theme incentives and now look here we've got in benefit and under incentives let's move down I don't think that BPS employees have given more privilege anything like that at least here in obviously uh, we don't let's not name it so it is again related to something related to system so what we'll do is what we can do is select it and drag your code onto the text so you've already defined a code for system you do not need to repeat it or you can select it here system and you can code it or alternatively just drag and drop the code onto this text and you see 
that now in the gutter area now that you have now you have coded this text or this sentence as cyst moving on let's take another interview let's let's assume that we have finished this interview or this section or let's say let's do another one okay knowledge let's say this is related to knowledge let's assume and knowledge might come under research and development so right click you can either uh, you can code it as system because it's already selected as system or let's press this plus button here and name it as R&D sorry that was the theme name so you name it as research and development rd and code name is let's say knowledge and press ok now you have created another code ok let's go to another example let's go to another interviewee again this code is related to uh, let's say this whole sentence actually relates to system or uh, let's uh, give it another code under the same category so let's say it is service structure for now let's assume it is service structure so what we do is we click this and service structure and it will come under job structure and press ok and now that now look here you've got two codes under job structure now this code actually relates to in, to salary and which will come under incentives so we'll do is salary and this will come under a new this will come under sorry we have already defined that theme incentives it's just the new code the theme is already there so we'll press ok now this now have a look what you have done is you've got the theme and then you've got the codes the theme and the codes the theme and the code now let's assume let's do another code for example another interview and another code okay, again this is uh, let's say this text and let's say we've named it as parallel structure or parallel system for instance let's say we have named it parallel system and we have put it in all together in a new code let's say uh, uh, let's uh, say let's uh, uh, procedure let's let's assume this is procedure now what it does is it creates a new theme and a new code now and this is parallel system now the while I was reading through this, I found that okay, this actually could belong to system here. Why I, why have I coded it separately? So now I think that I should merge parallel system with system. So how do I merge codes? This is what we talked about earlier. That you can merge codes later than when you think that okay, these codes could appear together. And that's why it's called an iterative process. Go back and forth again re-evaluate your analysis so let's select parallel system codes and merge into so merge parallel system into so i've already selected parallel system again let me do it again so select the code that you want to merge so select parallel system go to codes and select merge into and i want to merge this parallel system into system here and what I do is I just press OK. Yes. And look here. That code is now merged here into the system. And now this theme is all alone. <clears throat> so this is how you can merge codes, generate codes, and create themes in QDA minor light. Now the next step is now that I know the keywords in all my data. Do I need to read again and again or is there any easier way to code? So what I do is let's go to retrieval and text retrieval. 
again let's go to retrieval and text retrieval and here it's asking that where do you want to search i want to search in the document fine do you want to search the whole document or separate paragraph sentence or you want to co search the coded segments the things that you have already coded well actually i'm interested in uh, sentence uh, something that is not coded yet so uncoded text segments only for now let's leave it now what do you want to search now what i'll do is let's say i want to search for issue let's say let's 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 go for uh, benefits Uh, or so if you use or it will search in the sentence any sentence will come up that will either have the text benefits or it could be benefit as well so let's uh, okay let's for now let's use benefits or let's say let's use the word return as well and then we can check the text as well let's search it so what I've got here is in all these nine or ten documents there are 29 sentences where there there is this text benefit TTS is not an issue it is followed in Pakistan with true uh, spirit that it has many benefits so do you think that this code this particular sentence or this particular uh, uh, quotation or sentence should be coded into this particular code benefit if you think yes this is very relevant so what you do is from this code here select benefit and click code the selected hit now it's coded have a look it was earlier coded as well now so what type of in return well this actually uh, does not mean anything uh, okay what types of knowledge losses in return but well, this is actually related to knowledge and we already had a code on knowledge so what we can do is just select knowledge here and press this now this is coded here look at this this is coded here now let's say this so if you select it actually automatically goes to the particular quotation in your text so yes this actually uh, is related to a particular code yes benefit so you code it now it's coded so this is how you can automatically uh, use sentences and code them so search for the sentences now this was very plain and simple search but and we used or because benefits and returns could be synonyms or in this case let's see rules it could be rules or procedures is also used as synonym for rules or it could be regulations as well if you want to uh, further know how to use this or and and uh, use that or so go back to that particular video on QDA minor light uh, in there there is greater detail I'll be doing more examples as well okay rules or procedures or regulations this is something that is very uh, critical in our analysis because there was a code on it so let's search so we've got eight hits on so there are eight actually sentences that have used the word rules procedures or regulations but let's change it a bit it could be rules or it could be rules so we, we will use a wild card asterisk the wild card is asterisk it could be procedure or procedures it could be regulation or regulations so what we'll do is we'll use asterisk and then we'll press the search again and now we've got 20 hits so this is the importance of using this uh, wildcard character because uh, somebody might have referred it to as a procedure or procedures now let's see let's click this and it goes to the sentence do you think that this is important in your study well I don't think so so I won't code it 
let's go to another sentence this sentence here so once i click it goes to the sentence automatically according to my opinion there are some minor problems in the transition period uh, okay uh, the main reason for the occurrence is that they don't have defined set of rules and again this is very important but this should go into job structure as a new code so i'll press this plus button here and i'll name it rules and it will come under job structure and i'll press ok and now see this new code is created and add it now it is added do not just like define the new code add the quotation to the code as well so now it's added to the rules now this is how you can search for the text and code it you can use and as well for example a sentence that has got uh, both benefits or something for example if i want to quote about say incentives or i let's say i want to quote about knowledge so a, a sentence that has got a research the whole phrase and development for instance let, now in this case you should separate uh, the space with underscore or you can put it in quotation marks so both are correct and let's see search so you've got zero hits on research but in most cases it would be rather like this not research development but research and development so let's see if we've got research and development again zero hits so let's change research and development so a sentence that has got both these words research and development search and obviously there is nothing so but again this is how you should use and operator instead of or if you are looking for phrases that come together in a single sentence or maybe in a single paragraph or maybe in a single document it, it, this 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 could be any search unit so if you want two phrases or two words coming together in a single sentence or in a single paragraph or in a single document you can do it by using the and operator so this is how you use the wildcard character the and operator or the or operator to search for text in your documents if you've got uh, if you're search, writing literature again uh, I, I won't be going back to that uh, so you can you watch that video uh, uh, and it will be shared again onto the uh, the Facebook page so you can obviously watch that later again and that can be a significant help in your literature review I, I, I it will cut down your literature review timing into maybe like if it previously took you 10 hours it will now take you 2.5 hours because you can directly go into the information that you are looking for so this is how you can use this text retrieval option in QDA minor light and code the relevant text that you want to study or that you want your um, uh, to be part of your study as quotes. Now there is another thing that you can do. Let's do that. Let's say I've coded a few things here. Let's go to let's click right click and go to retrieve segments. If you want to know what you have coded, so what you do is you just go to right click and retrieve segments and in this case so there are there is this one code here let's see what we've got in system retrieve segments okay i've got three codes here i think while i was going through the document i think this one particular code is not important it's actually not relevant so what i can do is i can either delete it or change its coding here so what I'll do is I want this to go into knowledge so I'll click knowledge and then from here I can remove it and now it's gone into knowledge now this is how you can uh, just hold on let me uh, have a look at it again service structure and uh, okay so this is how you can obviously change uh, the codes so just right click on it retrieve or uh, 
okay now yes so here we are and the benefit now these two are actually coded and the same these are the same quotations so why do why do we want to have same quotations so what we can do is just right click remove coding and this is related to benefit and you can put it into another code as well or sorry uh, yes another code and another in another theme and then you can dilute it from uh, here as well under the category incentives under the category or sorry the code benefit so if you want to delete it just right click and uh, remove it you can save the code as well separately or copy to clipboard now this is how you code this is how you group the codes merge the codes search the codes and uh, furthermore you can have coding frequencies as well for example let's say i want to have a look at all these codes and their frequencies and how they search and see now there are two quotations here one in this one two in this one two in this one one in this one and knowledge has got three the percentage of codes the number of cases that they, these codes are coming from and just the descriptive statistics relevant to your quotations and codes in order to get this just go to retrieval uh, sorry analyze and coding frequencies and you can obviously uh, go to the document and change how the coded text appears does it appear normal does it appear as highlight does it appear as dim it will be dimmed here see now it's dim and text view uh, this is these are different views that you can play with actually uh, you can obviously whatever suits you, you can hide the text mask the text and go into settings uh, font color let's say let's go to purple and you can change the background colors as well code colors background or font okay and go to document or text code colors and now see now it is changed so this this is something that you can work on and you can change the document obviously uh, work on the document or change the formatting of the document if you want to another feature uh, that you can do is you can search in the document using this find or this binoculars as well you can check the grammar as well if you want um, you can create changes or change the document as well by creating table you can find whatever you want to you can match the whole world or you can just match the case as well direction up or up and down so this is something uh, that you can use qda minor light to create your codes to create the categories merge the codes uh, color your codes analyze the codes identify the coding frequencies so something that you can work and you can then print the code book as well so just what you can do is just right click and go to print code book uh, if you want to give it a title and print it at as uh, if you want just or uh, select your printer and whatever and just print and it will do the printout or go to the pdf document that you can uh, open and uh, later you uh, for later use so this is how you can use qda minor light for your qualitative data analysis so now let me go through an example of how to write or a sample chapter on how to produce results of your qualitative study. This is something I did uh, a while ago. Just hold on, let me share the screen. Okay, here is a document that uh, actually I did uh, on stakeholder issues. So briefly, you describe your chapter as to what is included in the chapter. And then followed by this, what you do is you write your themes and then the codes in the themes. And do not just put in the quotations from your results. Briefly describe your codes as to what is meant by the code you can put in the definition of the theme as well and then once you are putting in once you have put in the codes as to what is meant by the codes you write about or write the responses from the your interviews but do not just put in the quotations you briefly describe as to what is meant by the quotation what is meant by the sentence that you are putting in your document and do not just put in the document then you can obviously describe that quotation as well and then you can use these words like similarly 
however contradicting a2 or a1 or the respondent 1 or respondent 2 so these words or words like this will actually help build a more strong uh, literature uh, sorry uh, 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 qualitative analysis chapter now this is uh, bank reputation another code in the theme of benefits so in reputation there will be quotations pertinent to reputation so each code will have multiple quotations and each quotation is uh, briefly is, is, is preceded by a description as to what the, the, the quotation is about and then what it means to your analysis you can have a separate discussion chapter or you can merge the discussion with the literature or the theory in the same chapter so this actually depends on the structure or how you or your how your supervisor wants it so this is how you can structure your qualitative analysis chapter briefly introduce the chapter then write the themes and within themes write the codes and while you are putting the codes and then the quotation in the in in those particular codes do not just put in the text from the the, the interviews describe those quotations as well as to as to what is meant by those quotations that you are putting in in those quotes i hope uh, this would have uh, cleared some of the misconceptions uh, with regards to writing uh, the results of a qualitative analysis i hope the session would have helped you understand the concept of qualitative data analysis and how to use qda minor light for qualitative data analysis now i'll be taking the questions thank you very much